Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kubuman. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up OBS to record video on a slow computer. Now, let me tell you right now that the settings I'm about to show you are not necessarily good for recording video games, but, or video game play I should say. However, you can give it a shot and see how it goes. My main concern would be the setting that deals with frames, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now, let me prove to you that I'm running OBS and only OBS on this computer. As you can see, I have OBS and it's recording. I have no other tasks or processes that are running in the background taking up CPU. And at this point, OBS is only taking up 31% of my CPU and there is nothing else being used to record this screen. Now, here are the specs for my computer. This is just a laptop and the maximum speed for the CPU is 1.8 gigahertz and it's a dual core um, as, as it's pictured here. It's uh, Intel dual core and uh, it, once again it runs up to the maximum speed of 1.8 gigahertz and the memory I have is 4 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and I just have a I do have a solid state um, drive which is Samsung and besides that, those are the specs for this computer. So as you can tell, it's nothing special. It's only a dual core, doesn't even go up to two gigahertz, and it only has four gigabytes of RAM. So let's have a look at the settings for my OBS. If you have OBS open, it may look slightly different than mine, depending on which type of OBS you have installed. Um, uh, besides that, we need to go down here on your right hand side towards bottom and select the settings button. Once we have this open, uh, the first thing we need to visit is on your left hand side and we need to select the output tab. We got to make sure that we're here. Now here for the bitrate, what I have is 2500 and its rate control is CBR, right? Uh, CPU usage is set to very fast okay this is this these are the settings that work for me uh, when I tried some other things it just didn't work properly here we have to change the recording format I can't change it now because I'm obviously recording with OBS but here default recording format is going to be FLV right we need to change that to mp4 especially if you're trying to upload these videos to YouTube, right? And now the next thing we have to check is the video tab. So on your left hand side, we need to go to the video tab. So it's the fifth one down. And we got to make sure that our base resolution is set to our maximum resolution. This, this is what I have. This is the maximum resolution for my laptop. So it's 1366 times 70, 768. Doesn't mean that yours will be that. So if you have 1080p, you know, just go ahead and select that at 1080p. If you mess around with these other settings, the picture on your final video will be blurry, right? So here's um, where I've actually gained a lot of speed and performance is by selecting the frame frames uh, frames per second value here if you select it and again I can't make the changes right now because I'm actually recording they're locked in you have a bunch of different options you'll have 30 60 24 and 20 when I selected to 20 I was able to start recording without any issues at least screen recording you know what i mean otherwise the only thing that was happening was without making changes and leaving it at defaults and whatnot all you could see all you could hear was just my voice but the screen itself like when i move a mouse it would be huge delay you know and they would it was just it was just a mess it didn't work and why because you know the the computer is very slow you know, it's an older computer. I think this computer is five or six years old, maybe even older than that. But this just kind of goes to show that you can set up OBS to 
at least record video off your screen. Again, I would like to see if this works for video game, uh, video games and, and video gameplay. Um, but uh, you know, if you, if you guys decide to test this out, um, you know, please let me know, see how that works. Uh, on my channel, I don't uh, have gameplay videos, but I'd be interested to know if there's any screen tearing and whatnot. And once you're done making changes, whether it's in video or output, make sure you click apply down here and then OK. If you haven't done that, then you know it's not going to make any changes. You know? The encoder here, I just want to go back here to streaming, make sure the encoder is set to x264. I'm not sure if that's set by default like that, but just kind of ensure that that's set there as well. Okay, guys, I mean, that should do it. I've had good luck. I mean, basically, for me, it went from being able to record and not being able to record, right? Okay, I hope that works for you. Um, if you like it, uh, share it with friends. Click the like button. Have a good one. Bye-bye.